Hello, my name is Luke Frog. Fifteen years ago, I walked into a business school for the first time in my life and began teaching managerial economics to MBAs. I taught economics as I had learned it with models and public policy applications. It went over like a lead balloon and the dean threatened to fire me unless customer satisfaction increased. The textbook is the result of 15 years of trying to figure out how to get this right, how to teach economics. The basic idea of the book is that instead of a model-based pedagogy where we give abstract models to students, we use a problem-based pedagogy where we start with a business mistake or a problem and then ask them how to figure out what's wrong and how to fix it. This requires a model of behavior, and the one thing that unites all economists is their use of the rational actor paradigm. Simply put, it says that people act rationally, optimally, self-interestedly. We begin with a business mistake and ask, why are people making mistakes? Under the rational actor paradigm, there's only two reasons to make a mistake. One is you don't have enough information or two, you don't have the right incentives. This immediately suggests a problem-solving methodology. You simply ask three questions. Who's making the bad decision? Do they have enough information to make a good decision? And do they have the incentive to do so? And remember, incentives have two pieces. You have to measure performance, and then you have to reward good performance. So once you identify what the problem is, then you have to figure out what the solution is. And there's three levers you can push. You can either let somebody else make the decision, someone with better information or incentives, or you can change the information flow, give more information to the current decision maker. Or the third thing you can do is change the incentives of the decision maker. And rewards can be very general. They can be anything from a sales commission for rewarding sales to a promotion for rewarding good behavior. Let me just give you an example. This was a problem faced by the Tennessee Valley Authority. They're the power company in, uh, in the South. They buy coal and burn it to make electricity and sell the electricity to local power companies. And this was a problem faced by a, one of their coal-burning power plants along the Cumberland River. The coal arrived in barges, and it would sit at the docks for up to two weeks without anybody unloading it. And the barge company gave them three days to unload the coal. But if it took longer than three days, they would charge them for every day that the coal was not unloaded. If we run this through our problem-solving framework, we simply ask the three questions, and hopefully the answers will suggest solutions. So who's making the decision to keep the barges at the docks for more than three days? Well, the management of the power plant is implicitly deciding to keep the coal there by refusing to authorize overtime pay or hire more workers to unload the coal in a timely manner. Does the manager know that the late fees are piling up because it's taken him so long to unload the coal. Yes, he has that information. Does he have the incentive to unload the coal in a timely manner? And here's the crux of the problem. It turns out that the late fees aren't paid by the fossil division. Instead, they're paid by the transport division. And because the costs of unloading the coal would fall on the fossil division and the benefits of unloading the coal would accrue to the transport division, the manager of the fossil division is evaluated based on the performance of his own division and unloading the coal in a timely manner while it helps TVA, it doesn't help his own division. And that's the crux of the problem. He doesn't have the incentive to unload the coal in a timely manner. So what are the solutions? Well, there's a, two obvious solutions. Is one, you can change the incentives. Let's keep the decision rights where they are and just change the uh, incentives, make the fossil division pay the late fees. They're the ones who decide whether or not to unload the barges in a timely manner. You want to make sure they face the benefits and the costs of their decision. So this, this would seem like a pretty easy decision. And after you make that change, it's clear that the incentives of the fossil division would be better aligned with the goals of TVA. 
if the late fees were more than the cost of the overtime necessary to unload the barges in a timely manner, then, then the managers of the fossil division would have an incentive. The other obvious solution is to let somebody else make the decision. And here, because the transport division pays the costs of the late fees, you could let them decide whether or not to unload the coal. That's the, that's the basic idea of the class. We are going to give you tools not only to identify unprofitable decisions and figure out how to stop people from making mistakes, or can you turn around in a glass half full kind of manner and say, well, we can identify profitable decisions. The first, the first part of that, uh, identifying profitable decisions, is usually what's thought of as an econ class where you learn the basics of benefit cost analysis. The second part of that is traditionally taught in a separate class called organizational design or organizational behavior. And it's usually not taught by economists, although that's, that's tending to change now. This class integrates those two steps, and the reason for that is that identifying profitable decisions without being able to implement them or implementing decisions without knowing whether they're profitable are both fruitless exercises. And to me, it just seems that to teach problem solving, you've got to include those two pieces together in, in any class. And by the time this class is over, I hope that you will be able to approach any situation, any problem, and give you some analytic tools, some structure to formally think about, you know, how do I figure out what's wrong and how do I motivate people to change?